The COVID pandemic had created an enormous panic amongst us, but also gave us a chance to express our passions. I am privileged to present my passion project, which I have been working for the past five months, and I call it as the Project TU or Teaching Unit. It all began with these rough sketches drawn during a triage posting, and the sole goal was to improve the academic teaching in general units for the postgraduates. To kick things off, we started really simple with small presentations, what we call as the daily morning discussions. Then we soon realized that we were missing out on an essential tool for teaching, that is a humble whiteboard in the OPD. Like a canvas ready to be painted, the whiteboard was imprinted with concepts and teaching became better. The whiteboard gave us an incredible clarity what a PowerPoint failed to deliver. Then we tried using a handheld projector to display the slides and learning became more colorful. Slowly I wanted out to reach to more residents, so we created a group called Unit 2 Academia on WhatsApp and I started to share the whiteboard scans of our daily classes. Then came short case scenarios which was a great way to teach. And we utilized the problem based learning approach so that the postgraduates can apply their learned theory in actual case scenarios. Solving of MCQs became fun, the learning became effective and we became Dr. House. Then as months progressed, patients started to flow in. A particularly useful feature in the EMR is the option to print referral slips. And this slip gives us a crisp summary of referrals. By the end of the day, I have with me around 10 to 15 referral slips with salient teaching points. And I summon my residents to the EMR rounds where I discuss each referral by opening the case record and see what I missed and what I got right. In the process, they learn how to elicit a proper history, how to describe the findings properly, how to refer a patient appropriately and how that particular patient has been managed in the specialty. But not all the residents can attend the rounds due to space constraints. So the question arose, can I teach more? Can I reach more? So at home, I recorded short, crisp videos and I shared with them. So hi, welcome to the ZMI rounds. And I saw this patient on this Friday. Uh, he came with complaints of uh, unilateral twitching. Uh, on his left eye, the patient had uh, this typical twitches or what we call as kandal turi kedir. So where the, where the twitches were present, the twitches were present below his left eye, at this area exactly. The patient was wearing a mask, so I wasn't able to find exactly where it is. So I asked him to move the mask and then I was... And the playlist of the online EMR rounds continues to grow every single day. So what we're aiming to achieve here is to blend the learning process by inculcating both the online as well as the offline teaching methods. Then I realized that I need to give a holistic learning experience. So whenever I took a class, I gave them a handmade summary of the topic, which can be easily reproduced in exams. And more such high yielding topics are added every single day on a Facebook page for easy access. Just a glimpse to show how useful the whiteboard can be. Not only for resident teaching, whiteboards are versatile health education tools as well. And now we have adhesive whiteboards stuck onto the wall with residents writing about one drug every single day. But the quality of teaching improves with feedback. So I devised this quality of teaching for a feedback form which assesses how well I have taught my PGs and how well they have learned from me. Such honest feedbacks make me a better teacher. And I continue to experiment with logbooks to record their cases every single day, specialty notebooks when they leave the unit and the notebook with question bank, case performers and self-made notes. And that is how the influence of a teacher can extend beyond the cubicle. In a nutshell, when we combine the classic whiteboard with a passionate teacher and inquisitive learners, what we produce is sheer magic. Now it's a call to act. Let us create a teaching unit amongst the other general units. Let us empower a medical officer as an academic medical officer who will be a guru, a guide and a friend for the residents. And that is the pride of being a teacher. We lift them up, we empower them. And as we do that, something beautiful happens. We lift ourselves, we better ourselves. Let us all teach to reach. Thank you.